Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to upload files to a Flask app. All right, so to start off, we need to structure our app. And currently, I have a main.py file, a templates folder with nothing inside of it, and a static folder with nothing inside of it. Once you have these, we are ready to begin setting up our app. Now, in order to begin setting up our app, we need to install Flask using pip. So open up your terminal and then type in pip3 install flask if you're on Mac and type in pip install flask if you're on Windows. Now I already have it installed so that's why it says requirement already satisfied. Okay so now that we have our packages installed we can begin to set up a basic web page. So in order to do that I'm going to first import flask. So I'll just do from flask import flask and then I'm going to import render template by doing uh, just render template over here. Then I'm going to create an app instance by doing app is equal to flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore. And then I'm going to create a home route. So I'll just do at app.route forward slash and home. I'm going to create a home function that will just return hello from flask for now. So I'll just do return hello from flask. Now, once we have this, we're going to need a way to run our app. So I'll just do if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore app dot run and since we're currently building the app out I'm just going to put debug is equal to true so that if we encounter any error we can know what it is next um, to run our app I'm just going to do python 3 main.py if you're on windows you're just going to do python main.py but since I'm on a mac system I'm just going to do python 3 main.py and if once I hit enter the app is going to run and it's currently running on localhost at port 5000 so I'll just go over here and then go to localhost at port 5000 and then if I just go to slash you can see that we have hello from flask and then if I go to slash home you can see that we still have hello from flask so that's what this app.route decorator is for now you can see that we imported render template and this render template is so that we can return actual files instead of just returning this text so in order to return those files I'm first going to create a um, template in this templates folder so I'm just going to do a new file and then uh, index.html and then inside this file I'm just going to have some boilerplate so I'll just do um, exclamation point and then tab and then in the title of this page I'm just going to put home and then inside the body I'll just put h1 um, flask file uploads tutorial okay and then in order to render this file we're just going to remove this line over here and then do return render template index.html and if we go over here and then refresh our page you can see that we have flask file uploads tutorial so what this is basically doing this render template thing it's going to go into this templates folder and then uh, grab this uh, file that we passed in over here and then return the contents that are inside this file onto the web page right here okay so now that we have a web page we can move on to creating a file input field and also building the feature to upload files now to create a file input form, we're going to need to install two packages, which are flask underscore WTF and WT forms. And these packages will be used to build the forms and to install them. I'm just going to open up another terminal window and then type in pip3 install uh, flask underscore WTF and WT forms. If you're on Windows, you can just do pip install. And as you can see, I already have them installed since it says requirement already satisfied. And once you install them, you're just going to need to import them. So we'll just do from flask underscore WTF import uh, flask form. And then right below this, I'm going to do from WT forms import file field. And now we can start. To so to build the form, I'm just going to create a class called upload file form. And this will inherit from this flask form that we imported over here. And then I'm going to create the input field and how we're going to do that is just create a variable called file and this will be equal to this file field right here. So file field and then um, file. Next I'm going to create a submit button using the submit field so we're going to import submit field. And then to create the button we're just going to do submit is equal to submit field um, upload file. Okay. All right, so now that we have this completed, we just need to add them to our HTML templates. And the way that we do that is by just doing form is equal to upload file form, and then create a variable in our template called form. And that variable will be equal to this form, which is equal to this upload file form. So I'll just do form over here. 
and also put the uh, the methods over here so that we can accept both get and post requests to the server. So I'll just copy this and paste it over here as well. All right, and then we're also going to need to create a secret key to our app in order for the form to show up in our template um, because we need a secret key in order to use the CSR of token which comes with the form. So we're just gonna do app.config uh, secret, secret key in all caps. And then if you're in a production environment, you would uh, put something secretive, but for the demonstration purpose of this video, I'm just gonna put something simple. So I'll just put uh, super secret key. And then once we put this, I'm just gonna go to our HTML template, and then I'm going to create a form tag with a method of post. And then I'll do form.hidden tag, and then form dot, uh, what do we call this over here? Form.file, and then form.submit. So once we do this and save these changes, we're just gonna go to our web page, and then once we refresh, you can see that we have the form over here. And in case you were wondering what all of this form stuff means, this form method equal to post basically means that whenever we press the submit button, we're gonna be sending a post request to the server. And uh, once we receive that post request, we're gonna be uploading the um, file that was provided, okay? And this form.hidden tag is there to create a hidden field, which includes a token, which is used to protect this form against CSRF attacks. And this form.file is to uh, display this um, file field over here. And the form.submit is to display this upload file button right here. And also one more thing to mention, in this form, since we're going to be uploading files, we're going to put something uh, like this. So ink type multipart slash form hyphen data. And this uh, field right here will allow us to upload files um, through this form. Okay, so now that we have all of this form stuff done, we can finally move on to actually building the feature to upload files. So in my Python file, I'm going to do from work zoo.utils import secure underscore file name and import os. All right, and you'll understand why we need these later. And this workzoog was also installed along with Flask. Next, I'm going to create a folder inside static called files. And this is the folder where all the files will be uploaded into. And I'll also configure this um, upload folder in our app by just doing app.config upload folder. So you're going to put this in all caps. So upload underscore folder. It's going to be equal to static slash files. All right, so now I'm going to actually write down the code to upload the file. And I'm just going to first write it down and then I'll explain to you guys what it means. So I'll just start writing it down. Okay, so I've just made the font size a bit smaller so that you can see. And basically what I've written is if form.validate on submit, which basically means to you know control what happens once we submit the form, we're gonna first get the file that we uploaded by creating this file variable, which is gonna be equal to form.file.data, which is a file that we uploaded. So that file will be stored inside of this file variable. And then we're going to do file.save in order to save the file. And inside of file.save, I have os.path.join os.path.absPath, os.path.durname underscore underscore file underscore underscore. And this will basically get our app's root directory, which is this right here. So we're going to upload to static slash files, but first we're going to need our app's root directory, and then we're going to upload to static slash files. So once we get the root directory, we'll put the upload folder, which is equal to static slash files, and then do secure file name and then file.file name. And this secure file name is used to secure the file in order for it to be saved onto our computer. Then once it's been saved, we're going to return file has been uploaded to the user. So if we go to our web page and then refresh it and then choose a file to upload, um, let's say I go into my documents and then upload this wallpaper right here. I'm just going to open it and then press upload file. And as you can see, it returned file has been uploaded. And then if we go back to our editor and then open up static slash files, you can see that we have that wallpaper uploaded right here. All right, so now we know that this is working, but let's say someone tries to upload without an actual file. This would cause an error. And to show you, if we just uh, refresh this page and then just press upload file, you can see that it throws this error. 
Now, in order to prevent this error, we just need to add a validator to our form. So I'm just going to go to our Python file over here, and then I'm going to import uh, input required from wtforms.validators. So I'm just going to do from wtforms.validators import input required. Okay, and then we're just going to add this to this file field over here. So I'm just going to do validators is equal to input required. So input required right here. And then we're just going to need to save the changes to this file. And then if we go back to our web page and then just try to upload a file without, you know, filling in anything, it's going to say, please select a file. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video. If you'd like to view the code yourself or in case you missed anything, I'll leave a link down below to the code repository. With that being said, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Music